Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds. I'm here with another fragrance review. And today, as you may have noticed, we're gonna be talking about From the House of Afnan, 9 a.m. Dive. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the notes in case you haven't already read them, which you probably did. In the top, you have lemon, pink pepper, mint, and black currant, middle, Apple, incense, and cedar, base, patchouli, jasmine, ginger, and sandalwood. Now, I feel like you do get the top notes, but you get them for the life of the fragrance. The pink pepper is not that strong, but it's present. It kind of just jazzes it up a little bit. Uh, the black currant is definitely there, um, and the apple is definitely there. I don't get the incense, um, and the woodiness, if anything, that's in the black, and the, that's in the uh, backbone. The ginger is definitely there, and I love how the ginger is playing with the apple and the black currant here. It smells really good. Um, but speaking of those notes, it has been compared to Blue de Chanel, Bulgari Tiger, and I believe Afternoon Swim. Yeah, I don't get any of those three here. And I have decants of Tiger Afternoon Swim and I have samples of uh, all the Blue de Chanel iterations, but yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, that's not any of this. This reminds me of things that I've smelled in the past, but really what I'm getting from this is kind of this like really fruity, sweet, um, versatile fragrance. But again, it's sweeter than a lot of the fragrances I have. I mean, Tiger is pretty sweet. But, no, I would say this is sweeter and this has more of this, like, uh, tanginess to it. I, I'm guessing from the ginger, which, I mean, it would make sense. Also, Rocky's here and he wants me to pet him, so that's why I keep having to move my hands. Um, but, for me, it's just one of those fragrances that you can reach for when you're looking for something sweet and mass appealing but maybe not super different. Now, I don't think that it's a clone of anything, and it could be, but this doesn't smell exactly like anything to me. It smells like, you know, it takes bits and pieces of this and that, and it smells good, but you're gonna get that fruitiness and you're gonna get that ginger, and you're gonna get a nice, sweet fragrance. Not in a bad way, in a very good way, and I, I honestly can't imagine anyone disliking this, but in terms of performance, I wore four, four sprays to my neck. That's kind of my go-to move most of the time unless I've learned better from a brand. I should have learned better from this brand, but I would say most of the times I wore this, I either wore three sprays to the neck or four sprays to the neck. Now, I already told you guys that I do commute to work. I've worn it for an entire shift. It lasts through an entire shift. This lasts over 10 hours for me, and I'm gonna say that very confidently. It has lasted over 12 hours for me. I'm gonna say that very confidently. Now, my skin may not act the way your skin acts, but I would say it would be very difficult for me to envision someone getting less than 10 hours. Now, this was like 9 p.m. for me. The way that 9 p.m. worked is I knew it was there. I didn't feel like it was too loud or anything like that, but here's how I knew that I was wrong. I was at work and someone said, hey, I smelled you in the hallway. <laughs> I knew you were in the building because the whole hallway smelled like you smell right now. Four sprays to the neck and that's what I got. Now, we're gonna jump around because I feel like that's the easiest. Compliment wise, they gave me a compliment and said, you smell really good. And with this one, I have received compliments. It has got that sweet factor that most people are gonna not be able to dislike. It just smells good. It smells easy to wear. There's nothing challenging about it. But performance, the sillage, obviously, as you can tell, really well above average. Um, longevity, also above average. And projection is above average. Projection, I'm okay with, because again, within that commute, it kind of gets to a level where people aren't, you know, getting blasted in the nose with it. But it's a really inoffensive fragrance, so I feel like even if I, I did spray a little too much, this wouldn't be one that would, you know, bother people really at all so who can wear this i want to say anyone but i do also want to say that this is more of a youthful fragrance and i'm not saying that if you're not you know 20 years old you can't rock it you can rock anything i'm gonna rock this but it's not really going to be my go-to because it maybe is a little sweeter and a little more youthful than i typically prefer do i like it Yes. Do I think it's going to be really easy if I want to go to an outdoor event in the summer because it just projects and it smells really good and it's fresh, but it's also sweet and that combination tends to work? Absolutely. But 
I think something like Latafa's Al Amid, which is also fresh but has kind of a leatheriness to it and is less sweet, is going to get my attention over that one. And that's only because I don't always gravitate towards fragrances that are fruity sweet like that. Not, a, not as much at least. Now, do I like it? Absolutely. Do I think it's almost into the love category? This is one that it would be more of a love because of people's reactions. I do like that it projects well and people tend to really like the smell of it. I like that. But for me, again, the Latafa, I would pick that over it pretty much every time other than, you know, the few times where the 9am dive would outperform the Latafa in a, you know, a setting that I do want to project a little bit more because I'm not indoors. I do find it unisex because again, fruity, sweet, fresh, yeah, that doesn't really tend to go in either direction, especially the way that they did it here. That, that It's not like this musky freshness or anything like that. It's just a freshness that you would find in something that they would have gone aquatic with, but it didn't really go fully aquatic. It's nice. It's really, really nice. I really don't think that anyone would dislike wearing it either, honestly. Where could you wear it? That's kind of what I mentioned. I'd wear this during the day, spring and summer outdoor event. Now, if you like fresh, sweet fragrances in the cold, it projects, and I've worn it in the cold multiple times. It's actually still cold where I live. Like today and yesterday were warmer, but before that, it's been really cold. Like I don't think California's seen winters this bad in a very long time. But again, this is a summer and spring fragrance, daytime use. Now, if you're in one of those humid climates and you're looking for something to wear at night when you're going out with your friends, I would recommend wearing this because in a tropical climate, I know you guys, because you've asked me before, need fragrances like this because you can't wear the more cloying, overly sweet ones. And this isn't overly sweet. I think if you're in a tropical climate, this is gonna be perfect for you. Get attention, get noticed when you're going out at night. And I mean, again, the compliments are there, especially because it projects so well. I wouldn't necessarily wear it on a date night just because it doesn't really have date night DNA. And I wouldn't gravitate towards this for work, but if you do one to two sprays, it's pretty nice. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna take any offense to it. It's just not necessarily a work fragrance in my book at least. Um, but for the most part, you're going to any outdoor events, any like festivals, anything like that in the summer. This is actually probably going to be my number one pick as of right now. Um, also, I know I don't talk about presentation much, but it does come in a pretty cool box. And I, I don't hate that blue bottle. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I like this one more than any other in the Afnan uh, 9 a.m., 9 p.m. line. But again, I don't really like to dwell on that too much because you're not wearing the bottle when you go out. So... Price point, it was between $30 and $35. I can't really remember now. And do I think it's worth it? I absolutely think it's worth it. I haven't really picked up, I don't think, any Afnan that I haven't liked to date, at least. Um, there was one a while ago, but my mom liked it when she never really likes a lot of stuff. So Afnan tends to do really well. I wasn't worried about this. I figured it was going to be more than blind buy worthy. If you have tried this, Comment down below. Let me know if you think it smells like anything. Let me know your experience with it. Don't forget, it's not really for me. It's for everyone else reading it. People like to know what multiple people have experienced before they pull the trigger on a fragrance. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop a new video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Say bye, buddy.